<laughs> this is the third time that we catch him today. Third time. scaler and it's not gonna take me an hour to scale fish <laughs> here's a mango snapper i'll say this is a good four or five pounder this is a pretty big one it's probably like yeah it's bigger than the typical mangrove that i usually catch but pretty good size so we're just gonna wow effortless you're just killing this fish so much faster. So welcome to Ceviche 101. <laughs> Brought to you by Banana on the Boat. So, so today I got a phone call from Banana on the Boat Joe and he let me know that he caught a pretty good size uh, mangrove snapper and I got super excited so I went out and I pressed a couple of limes, cut a couple onions, got some cilantro and I came over to make some ceviche. So today uh, we're going to go ahead and show you how to make a very easy ceviche that you can make at home and um, I'm also going to show you how to fillet so we're hopefully going to get a couple shots of um, kind of the right way to fillet and then I'll explain um, the right way to mix uh, the right ingredients for just a uh, natural Peruvian ceviche. Come through the head. Yeah. It'll be easier. Hopefully the camera angles will kind of show what I'll do, but I'm going to get really close to the, uh, the whole line of the bone, uh, of the bones of the fish. Fish all caught up. Uh... So 
shout out to Bubba Blade. Uh, we'll go ahead and start our cutting process where I'm going to take out the bones. I'd say be very careful. These fillet knives you don't want to mess with. Salt um, is going to be the first base that you're going to have. Now in order for it to actually cook, you're going to need lime. And so here I have about uh, one and a half cups of freshly squeezed lime. Uh, you can do garlic powder, you can just do regular garlic, you can mince it up. So this one was just a little bit easier. And the banana on the boat, Joe, uh, made a really special sauce. Um, he makes this in his own backyard, uh, barbecues a bunch of different kind of peppers, uh, he puts his own flavor in here, and I gotta tell you, it's probably the best tasting hot sauce I think I've ever had. For taste, we have onions. Um, red onions, I feel, is probably the best tasting. Green cilantro, uh, you cut it up, you mince it up. All right, now the most important part is, let's make the ceviche. So we were able to clean the fish, we were able to fillet it, the parts that we didn't use for the ceviche, we're gonna go ahead and use it for our fish stock that we're making. So we'll show you that later. So I think this is a probably a pretty good size. Uh, I bet I'd say about a fork size, right? So um, again, I'd say maybe about an inch. This gives it a good texture. It soaks up the, the salt, um, it soaks up the lime. It cooks itself, but it also gives a little bit of texture so you don't feel like you're eating soggy fish. It's really important to have it just about this size. and going to Peru, um, living there for a while, you can't just mix everything together. There is a sequence, there is a sequence to setting up the ceviche. Go ahead and get some salt. I wouldn't just pour this. I wanna make sure I spread some of the sea salt around about three inches full. I might add some more, but first, first, let's mix it all together something that Joe makes at home. Um, it is so delicious. So I'm going to add just about, let's say about three ends. Uh, let me make it four, why not? Four ends of this um, so you can really get to see how it looks. Freshly cut cilantro. It's about Dan on the boat, Joe loves his cilantro, so we wanna make sure it's... Onions are gonna be the last thing that we're gonna go ahead and put. We're actually gonna put the lime. This is where all the action happens. The lime juice soaks in with the fish, and that salt is actually what creates the burn. So, uh, this isn't a science project, but I would tell everybody at home is, uh, if you have salt and you have lime, and you rub it against your hands for some reason, <laughs> go make sure you wash your hands because you don't want to get a, a, a actual burn on your hands. This is going to take a few minutes to soak. The last thing that we're going to go ahead and do is the flavor. The flavor is going to come from these red onions. Now I cut them up pretty thin. And the reason I cut them up thin is so that way you can still take a bite of an onion. And if you get an onion with no fish, it's okay because it's going to taste delicious. But it's big enough for the fork. <laughs> As I was uh, making the ceviche, Joe was actually boiling the fish that we had, the, the fish head, the, the ribs, um, the collar, and threw a little bit of cilantro, he made a little bit of fish stock. It's the soup of the fish um, that he was just making, the cilantro, the onions, some garlic, kind of mashed it up, 
uh, he just um, drained it out so there's no bones. And what I've noticed is um, a lot of people will actually put some cold fish stock into the ceviche. So I don't want to say it comes out super, it actually neutralizes the lime because if you don't do that, it's going to be too limey and that's what you want to try to avoid. So we're going to go ahead and put some of this delicious fish stock and in Spanish, this mix here is called leche de tigre, so tiger's milk. Let's give it a little taste. Ooh. This is delicious. I think here at this point, um, this is ready to go into the fridge. We want to go ahead and set it for about five to 10 minutes. Atlantic fish, a little different than Pacific. If it was in the Pacific, I would probably put it right on the table right now and cook it. Because it's Atlantic fish, it's better if you let it sit for a little bit, let it soak, get that lime, get the salt. Um, and then in a few minutes, we'll go ahead and show you and we'll plate it out for you. And uh, we'll get some reviews and see how they like it. What's up, man? Banana on the boat. Ain't nothing fresher than this. Caught a few hours ago. Dip it on some sauce. Oh, wow. This is money right here. Banana on the boat style. Florida fresh. Oh man, Forget, this is United States fresh. <laughs> <laughs> this is like, you can't get fresher than this, man. No, honestly, this is a, a proper ceviche. Proper ceviche. Very good. 11 out of 10 points. I would say, next time let's just throw this in the freezer. <laughs> but oh my god, it's good. <laughs> yeah, let me give up. I'll piece this in here. Sorry. Thank you. This one's better than the other. Yes. So good. Well, I didn't catch the fish. I only make it. That's the fisherman. And that's the fisherwoman. Those parts will be cut. And that's Thanks. the wife <laughs> that doesn't want to be in the picture. <laughs> what do you think about it, Kenny? Mm, so delicious. We could eat the whole thing. What does it need? Nothing else. It needs to be eaten. Oh, great. Guys, this is Florida Fresh right here. Oof. Taste this. Danny, there's a little piece that has been on the wall. <laughs> when Corona doesn't want to move. <laughs>